G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Microsoft Word tutorial. This time around we are looking at the spell and grammar check. So basically, this thing is trying to help you out and it's trying to tell you what incorrect grammar you have and what incorrect spelling you have. It's not always 100% accurate, okay, because all technologies have their flaws and their limitations. And you know what, you're going to have to basically judge it for yourself. So, first of all, how do you know if you have a spelling or grammar error? in your document. That's probably the first thing you should ever have a look at before you have a look at the whole spelling and grammar error. You have probably saw it all the way through some of the documents I was using before is these red squigglies and blue squigglies. Okay, a red squiggled underline is in a spelling error. Okay, Microsoft had detected that this word is not spelt correctly and it may have some suggestions for you. And the same thing, the blue squiggly is a grammar error and it's basically saying this word is spelt correct but it's not in the right place, okay? So you can see that employment is not spelled correctly. We can even go in there and change it ourselves to correct it, or we can actually use the mouse, put the cursor over the top of the word, and then you right click single, and then choose the correct spelling for it. Sometimes there might be multiple words to select from. So if you don't know the actual spelling, have a look closely, and maybe even check a dictionary to see that you've got the right spelling. And there you go, that will fix a spelling error for you. Same thing with a grammatical error. If you right click on it, it says that, no, 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 it's supposed to be the D like that. Then you click on, well, ignore. But in this case, it should be D-E-A-R for dear Mrs. J oh, Miss Jackson. Okay, there are lots and lots of different things that you can see I've got. I could go through and I could fix every single one of these errors quite quickly and then just move on, go into the next one. Or I could use the spelling and grammar checker. And down here, you can see I've got a little book and it's got a little X on it. And sometimes it has a little tick. If you see a little X, it means I have spelling or grammar errors in there. Okay, and this is really handy. If you have a document full of spelling errors or maybe you have a document full of what word thinks are spelling errors, then you can use this to quickly do some actions. Now, before I actually go into that tool, let's say for instance that I've got, um, let's say I want to type in generalize something here. Now you can see I've spelt that correctly, but Microsoft is saying, no, no, that word doesn't exist. I don't think that's the right spelling. That's because it's looking for a Z and that's the American spelling. Unfortunately, the American dictionary defaults in Microsoft Word. You can add the English, oh, sorry, the Australian dictionary in there, but you'll still run into these problems sometimes, like with armor and color. So I could actually type in those I could type in all those words and it's still going to say they're errors. Okay, and sometimes a lot of people's names are the same sort of thing. You type in someone's name, words not going to know everyone's name or spelling of their names for that instance. So it's going to consider them spelling errors or grammatical errors. So what you do in that case, you can do a couple of things. You can right click on the word and you can either ignore every single time you type in generalize with an S. Microsoft will ignore it just for this document. Your next document, if you type in generalize, it will come up as a spelling error again. Or I can say add to dictionary, and that way every document I ever write on this computer, it will consider generalize with an S, a real word. Click on that, you're good to go. Now let me just test something. Yeah, it's happened. It's done exactly what I thought it would. Notice how I've typed it in again, and it's come up as an error. That's because we've added generalize with a capital G, and that's Microsoft's understanding of the word generalize. Annoying, I know. So generalize with a little g is considered a completely different word. So we have to add it again. Same with armor, same with color. We have to add them in or ignore them. All right, there's just a couple of things that you need to learn. So that's that done, that's ignoring and adding words. Let's have a quick look at the spell and grammar checker. If I click on this, it's gonna open a whole tab over here. And it's going to go through the document one by one in order and find the grammatical and the spelling errors. First of all, it said, well, that's not the right there. It should be there with an I R. Okay, I can either go, no, nope, you're wrong, ignore, and it will go through. Again, if you ignore things, then it will only ignore it for this document. Okay, and one other thing to note, if I ignore and then I change the sentence, it's going to come back up. Okay, it's a limitation of Microsoft Word and it's frustrating as anything but it just does do it. Now 
One thing to note, you cannot add your own grammatical rules into Word. They're already preset and they're pretty complicated. So by default there, you can either ignore it or change it. So I'm just going to change, click change, and it will automatically update that. Through is not spelt with a double A, so we can click change, achieve. You can actually click change all. So if you've got that spelling error multiple times, you can actually click that and it will change every single one of your documents. Same with enclosed. Done. You're good to go. If you look down here, I now have a little tick, which means no grammatical or sparing errors in this document at all. Now, the one last place that you can access this spelling and grammar check is actually up here on the ribbon bar. If you go to the review tab, there's the spelling and grammar, but it's actually only going to open up the exact same tab that we saw just before on the side. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the spelling and grammar check. I hope that helps you, everybody. Hope you've learned something. Like, subscribe, comment down the bottom. I'd appreciate it. And I'm going to catch you in the next video, hopefully.